was gifted this when I was 20 years old. Now, nine years later, I'm finally reading it. Trigger warnings, rape, implied rape, child abuse, and implied child abuse. Written within a two-week time frame during the 1700s, Justine is a story the author uses as a mouthpiece while they're imprisoned. As the reader reads the first three pages, it gives you a sense that you're about to become judge, jury, and executioner, and openly admits that their characters are giving them an in giving you an insight of their journey of good versus bad persona. This is a dual POV. Justine and Juliet are sisters. One is described as what is now considered as a black widow, climbing the ranks of rich men, earning their trust before they all mysteriously died, while the other is described as a pretty face who fears the idea of unmarried touches. Unfortunately, by page 40, I got really confused. We were originally following Justine and Juliet, who at the beginning of the page had two different names. Then by page 40, we follow a nameless person who becomes Sophie before jumping between Sophie and Justine's POV. Sophie is a character who denies criminality. She prefers the innocence and good of life, though she is tricked and forced into robbery and murder by those around her. Reading this was interesting because it plays the balancing act between good versus evil, sex versus innocence, riches versus rags, and at times rape versus consent. Using religious as its main runner of the story, it casts doubt on why one should be believed versus how they should believe regardless of what age they are.